Hello guys, this is Su again, and today we are talking about this board that we mentioned the last time, and I want to show you uh, what I got after I reading all the materials that I can find for this board. This board should have the possibility, the function that can record the decode that sent by the computer and actually not and it's pretty bad cause we are going to record decode we should at the first load the decode shall we? yeah and uh, I'd like to use the always good example cut circuit and this is the G code and this is the path that we will move and there is actually no fancy things in this small display and uh, microcontroller so if you hands on I think you will get all the idea no more than 10 minutes so I'd like not to show you uh, all the detail about how to control the thing I want to show you how to start recording only press the ST at the first is some mysterious things about the backlight and so on and the second the same the X as a parameter Y, Z and A Actually, this thing will not record AX if we have some code about A. This is also a problem, but never mind. We just see the effect. Yeah, that is what we need. The PC record and uh, press the B once, jump to PC record, and if there is a equal. Uh, letter desperate that means um, standstill mode and if you press button for example 2 you get the record mode why I get a 1800 never mind that means before this uh, video I made a try so that record something and um, so that's uh, pretty much about it we can start to record it shall we as always I said press the reset button at the very beginning and let the motor enabled and then press cycle start the motor moved and that moved too Right now we are reading this G00 and G01 and actually they are recording only this line of G code but the number of here is increased so dramatically that I not understand and it's moving on the motor moved and it moved too and we are cutting this small piece of circle and now you see that I just miss it we can always record only till to 1799 steps and these steps are surely not the step that we use now, the G code, because our G code line is only went to line 9, this one, and it record about 1800, and that is just unbelievable. We stop the motor and stop all the process on the computer at least we record something that saved 
in this small chip and now I want to show you if we can read it out and play it back so we are still in the PC record and press the button 1 means jump to the wrong session and if this here show equal letter that means the same we are in the standstill mode and if we press B2 button that means we change this equal uh, letter to the letter means play and we just do it now yeah have you heard this is something that's interesting we are moving faster as we expected I think there is some way to correct this problem because as I said there is some trick in there yeah actually the the last time we crashed I have to record it another time and so that is what I'm doing and the motor moves on here shows and actually do and hmm but our buffer is overflowed or set is full we cannot do it anymore so what I'm going to do we'll stop the motor stop the G code and I'd like to even close the software to guarantee that um, we do not control this the, the motor by this software but by our board here so and we press the B once to jump to the next step and press B2 as we said it should be replaced our record information hopefully oh hopefully that works and I think that's crashed again the second time for today and if that crashed you have to press a minus because the others just do not work even work anymore really bad no reaction besides this A1 N not A1, A minus I mean <laughs> and here is the thing and I press the B1 no B2 another time no no reaction no reaction pretty sorry I cannot fix it S unbelievable we try to jump back to our main menu and jump back to the PC record again to see if that will works if we press no it's worked no this that's also a problem here we'll try to display some G code like things but really not and the X X will work forever thanks God I do not mount it on my robot and controlled by this thing this holy you know really a catastrophe it's helpless for example if you want to program your code by your hand you can do this and press the button 2 to make it from standstill mode to this record mode if you do this you can try to move your motor somehow and after that you can press B2 on theory you got another step, another step, another step, another step to let you move your things and then another step and as you know 
you cannot even um, <laughs> to input your number in some axis and you cannot input more than 1800 steps at all if you do no one knows perhaps crashed another time so let us say if we can we can play it back no today the machine is unhappy and the X will run forever the holy yeah I want see I do not want to say the word it's really a bad dream for me so the idea for the robot will be do not use this microcontroller and the things that connect to it at all and uh, I do not suggest uh, you if you want to buy this board do not buy the professional one because the professional one is useless and if you want to really do something interesting you'd better connect this board with a Arduino I decided to connect it with my very high performance chip kit to drive this board and it looks much more better than this one <laughs> this professional one so thank you for watching and if you have some problems as always leave me a message enter the video and I want to try I will try to answer it as quick as possible